Consistency matters. There's too many people who decide to start something in the heat of the moment, put their all into it the first time, and then never do it again. I mean, why do you think that 3am motivation is so common? You'll live and die a thousand lives before you finally stick to something, and even that will only last a couple of months. The issue is the fact that you rely on motivation, as most people do, to do these things. You watch a movie about an inspirational trader, and suddenly you stay up all night researching the art of trading, feeling bursts of dopamine with each new fact you'll probably forget by the morning. The day after, the motivation is worn off and you decide to take a rest day, and another, and another, and then you realize you never wanted to be a trader at all, and never think about it ever again. Apply this to every good habit, exercise, learning a skill, starting a business, and you get the 3am motivation that most lives revolve around. I know that the dependence on motivation is the reason for this inconsistency because I used to live like this. I wanted to do push-ups so I pushed myself one day for an hour, already looking forward to my future results. After the motivation wore off, I just forgot about it, but that feeling of unfulfillment never went away. Deep down I still wanted to start working out, I just lacked the motivation to do it consistently. Listen, people like us need something more than bullshit fleeting motivation because we want to be successful. I mean, if we want to change lives, we have to start with our own, right? So instead of relying on your emotions such as motivation to do things, rely instead on discipline. Self-discipline will allow you to accomplish literally everything you want within reason. And please don't use the common leftist excuse of, it's just luck. Logically think about it, if someone works out every single day and eats clean, isn't it a ridiculous idea to think that that person's physique was just genetics? Andrew Tate says you can't know if you lack talent until you've worked just as hard for just as long as whoever you say got lucky. If you do that and still aren't successful, then you are an anomaly. I cannot think of a single instance where that has ever happened because it doesn't happen. Work on a daily schedule with no days off for 10 years and show me that you got lucky and were just born talented. Don't disrespect yourself like that. If you don't respect yourself, then how can you expect anyone else to? Be honest here, most people lie, but we're not most people. Do you actually respect yourself? Most of Gen Z doesn't. It's a lack of respect you have when you know you don't do anything to change the situation you've wanted to escape for years. Deep down, you know that if you truly cared enough, you could. But you just don't, because you never can stay consistent. Some people do get lucky, sure, such as the people who win the lottery and lose all the money within a month, or those one-hit wonder musicians who have one song and then fade into obscurity. I guess that could count as luck. Have you heard from the Island Boys recently? Yeah, me neither. And neither has anyone else. You understand, right? To rely on luck means that even if you do have it, you'll almost always lose it again. Why not take that into your own hands? The way you get consistent is so fucking simple that I've been using it to work out and develop my skills almost every single day for the past year, whilst never losing focus of my goals. All you have to do is make a daily routine and stick to it. To gain the willpower to stick to that routine can be done with a simple dopamine detox. Nothing's easy, and breaking a crippling addiction to instant gratification certainly isn't, but it is worth it. Breaking this addiction to bad habits will cause those habits to be replaced with good ones, because they'll become far funner than the easy bad habits. Working out is one of the funnest parts of my everyday by now, and I genuinely get excited before every workout. To just start and just keep doing it is the simplest way to phrase this, because when I started, I felt like working out was just something I had to do, and now it's something I get to do. For the love of God, I used to play VR games for two and a half hours a day, pretending to enjoy myself whilst really just feeling like a depressed husk. I still play VR now because I'm not letting my £300 Christmas present go to waste, but I actually enjoy it because I only play for an hour a week on Saturdays, and I only play games that stimulate cardio like Pistol Whip. Point is that starting on something whilst motivated is great, as long as you can still do that thing once the motivation wears off. Dr. Jordan Peterson recommended starting really small and progressing daily. For example, you want to run a marathon. On day one, you would just put on your running shoes and step outside. Nothing more. 
absolutely nothing more. On day two, you would go on a walk. On day three, you jog for five minutes and so on. Eventually, you reach the point where you ran your marathon. Discipline is key when it comes to making any difficult habit consistent in your life. If you want to learn more on this topic, I would recommend the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, who gives some great tips on building consistency in good habits and breaking consistency in bad ones. Subscribe to join the Reddingtons. Have a good one and good luck on your journey.